Welcome to Designer Hell. All right, so this is a very, very different kind of video that I'm doing for you today, but one that I think you guys will find hilarious and it's just good fun. I've got a red background there, but I'm gonna change it back to blue because I like blue. Makes it a bit more happier for me. If you're a designer, you must have seen this recently pop up in one of your news feeds, which is a Helvetica. And I'm not talking about just any old typeface of Helvetica. I'm talking about Helvetica. So I've got it in front of me. This is Helvetica and this is the website. It's called Helvetica with the two L's. And as you can see, it's about kerning in hell. And because you guys are always giving in logos and I'm critiquing them and we do come design with me, which is coming very soon, don't worry. I thought it would be interesting today to show you my process of kerning and what better way of doing that than trying to kern this font that you can download that has been purposely kerned wrong. You guys are always sending me in work that needs that extra bit of care when it comes to kerning and I think doing one of these videos is something that I wanted to do for a while so let's go and start kerning in hell. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. I'm going to do a little sponsor plug before we get into the meat of this video simply because I think kerning is a lost, not art form, but is a lost subject when it comes to design. Everyone just wants to get their typography down and use the computer but I think the biggest problem and issue that I see when I see logo design sent to me is that the typography isn't kerned correctly and it can make it look not as professional so down below in the description I've linked some Skillshare courses that will help you with your typographic kerning needs but also giving you courses that will be really beneficial for anyone who's just starting out in graphic design cool so here is kern in hell so I've got it written out here and when you go into this and you start writing as you can see if I just write my name everything is just like kerned so badly <laughs> and I guess the idea is that we go ahead and basically kern it so it is better than it was at the start so let's give it a go I'm going to first off try and kern Helvetica let me just see if I've got the real Helvetica installed onto my laptop then we can compare it okay I do have the real Helvetica installed so I'm going to go ahead and start to kern this and the way that I do this is very simply holding option or alt and using my arrow keys and we're going to go through this and see how accurate I can get it. This is a really good way of practicing and this shouldn't be too hard because it's all in caps. So we're going to start off with caps and then go into the harder bits later on. So the one thing, okay. I think that is pretty much kerned correctly. So what I'm going to do is just to compare it, I'm going to type in Helvetica. And we can see how far we are off on some of the kerning here with this. This is the real Helvetica on top and this is the actual Helvetica on the bottom. We haven't done too bad. I'm going to just overlay it. Oh, let me just increase that size. Oh no, we did pretty bad there. We did pretty bad. <laughs> As you can see, sort of like the, the H, if I, put, if I map it to the H, the E wasn't kerned correctly. Uh, it was too close, the L was too close, everything was a bit too close. So I've got to look out for that and the A and the C was too far away. Okay, right. So taking that into account, let's go on to a different word. Let's do my name, but in lowercase. Oh, this is horrible. Where do I start? I'll start with the first one. So I'm just going to get everything just about right and then we'll see where we go from there. Again, kerning just takes a lot of practice when you're doing it. And a tip for anyone who's starting to do this, the circular letters, so like the E, uh, the S, the O's, anything that's circular is generally that bit closer to the letter that you're trying to kern next to. So the S and the O is kind of a hard one, but I kind of like that. Now I'm going to go through this and just refine it and see how far off I am. It's been kerned to someone else's eye. No, I like the N there. In fact, the spacing there is awful as well. I'm going to say that that is pretty well kerned right there. Probably the E is a bit too far away. Okay, let's see what happens when I go for the real Will Patterson in normal Helvetica. Okay, and again, I'm too tightly kerning. I'm, I'm, I'm kerning too tightly. But technically, it's on the spacing there, I think I've got the biggest issue. Yeah, so I've got the P and the A exact, so that's good. The T a bit too far away. 
the E was too far away. I've gone too, too far away here, really, on some of these other ones. But as you can see, if I match them up, you can see the S and the O were perfectly kerned. The E was kerned correctly to the T. Oh man, this is a really good way of learning if you can kern correctly. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try subscribe because everyone should subscribe to the channel. Right, so this is an absolute mumble jumble, right? And we're doing upper and lower case here. So let's get started. So the U. I like where the B is there. Let's just get it. So the best way of doing it, I guess, is just getting it right to your eye overall. And then you can make micro adjustments as you go through. And again, I'm just using the Alt key to do it. And using the arrow keys to like select and move it. If you really want to get good at this, it's it's always good to practice. And I think this is a, the most genius typeface that's been made. And it is free. I think the I is too far away and the B is too far away. That's the S. The S? I don't know. I mean, that looks pretty good. But again, I think I'm just going to select them all and just space them out a little bit more. I think overall I've got them too tight but I might be overcompensating for nothing. No, I'm bringing them back in too tight again. Right, I'm just gonna keep it at that, keep it at that tightness there. Okay, let's see how well I did if I match it over the top. So again, I've overcompensated on this because I thought that if I was to basically overcompensate for what I did wrong last time, I would get it right, but I haven't. Uh, although I have not done a bad job of it. If I go to the U and match up the U, the B and the S are pretty good. Uh, if I match up, the sort of C, the S and the C, the R the, and the B and the E aren't too bad. So I've not done a bad job with that one. Now for anyone who's wondering, there are other kerning games online. Just type them in on Google. This is one that you can use directly inside of Adobe Illustrator. I'm not too sure if it's meant to be a game or not, but I'm gonna give a shout out to the guy who made it. Matthew Woodward, it was the guy, the designer, who actually created this and I think the concept was by someone else. He's got a cool biography and a cool website. I'll link it all down below for you to go and check out. Matthew, if you're watching this, thank you for the unreal idea. If anyone who wants to know, here is Matthew's Instagram right here. If you want to go and follow him, make sure you let him know where you came from. All right, so this video was sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes, everything from business to design to cooking, photography, animation, drawing, art, it's got it all. Skillshare is great because of the amount of people that are actually teaching on there and it costs $10 a month for unlimited viewing of all of their classes. I think the most unique and the best thing about Skillshare is the fact that you can upload your work in a project, it's called the Class project and that allows the teacher of that class to give you direct feedback on what you've done if you would like two months of skillshare for completely free risk-free to try out and to see some of the classes down below to learn design or anything then click the links and you can get two months free which means that you can learn everything that i have linked in the description below those classes in the description below are unreal so don't forget to try it out. If you guys have enjoyed this video, then please remember to press that red subscribe button down below. Again, it is completely free to press that. And it's also free to press the notification bell, which basically just allows you guys to know when I've uploaded a video. Some of you have been saying that you're not getting the upload notification. So make sure that bell icon is pressed, but also that your notification settings on your mobile device and your email settings are set for YouTube to send you notifications. If you like this video, press that like button. If you did not like this video, press that dislike button twice and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later. Have a good one. Kern in hell.